This is meeting Tilly. She hasn't seen her for years. Don't tell her about when she first arrived, she blew a fuse. When refusing to take her milk wagon. Uh, yes, Mike. That was um, work shy she had. <laughs> Tilly and Daisy. Tilly was visiting Daisy, who came back from the mainland. Hello, 
I'm Tilly. Oh, hello, Tilly. I'm Daisy. Percy told me about you. I haven't seen you for years. It's nice to meet you the first time. Where do you live, by the way? Oh, well, in my branch line in Sloping Main docks. You haven't seen it for years. Come on, Teddy, said me, who was a driver. Work time. Bye, Daisy. Come and visit me some day. Daisy thought this was a good idea. Because it was her birthday, she decided to have, have it in the branch line of Tilly's. One day, she asked Tilly when she came to visit, Would you mind if I have my party here? You might tell me your tale. Oh, I haven't told you about my tale. Very well then. But ask my driver first. I agreed. This was a good idea. But silence fell on us. Twilight's not well. She came here to rest. Wings damaged. Twilight was in an upset state and was crying too. Oh, hello, Daisy. I'm not well for this part of yours. My part is only about tales. It's a cold one, Twilight. We might help get you better. The driver and me wanted to help. But Twilight didn't want us. She could mend a wing herself. It's a pony's way of doing things. I found this wet cloth and brought some bone liquid. Ah, that's better. Just as well, we wanted to invite you and your friends. Oh yeah, where to tell each other other tales. The party began. Daisy was first. Hers was great, so were the others. And Tilly's, but Twilight was perfect. What? Oh, I didn't know you be a princess. I didn't tell you about it, Daisy. Once I met you when we came to Tasman Sodor to live. Then it was time to go. It was nice of you to visit me, Daisy. Yes, it is. Goodbye. Thanks for helping me here. Yeah. You're welcome, Twilight. You helped me and I helped you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>